Proverbs 18.21, the tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. I wanted to talk about how to talk to yourself. I guess I should put putting that down yourself. Because this is a topic that I've been really focused on and really actually built my whole channel on, is how do you go about talking to yourself? How can we talk to ourselves? And what are the building blocks and the foundations on talking to ourselves? And I wanted to create a masterclass on this, a free masterclass for you, because... I don't really see them often and I wanted to and I have room to speak on this and the reason I'm bringing it up is because I find that people talk talk bad to themselves and this is one thing I have an issue with you know when it says in the Bible that the tongue has the power of life and death in it we don't take that literally we take it as meaning that the tongue can provide life and death but when you think about it really you can speak life or death through the tongue. You can uplift yourself or you can pull yourself down. See what happens. And let's look at this. I can't. I can. Okay. We have bad and we have good. But you can see when you say I can't, it always means that there's something bad happening from it. I can't do this. I can't succeed. I can't win. I can't go about this certain thing. But when you switch it and you go to the good side, I can, you can see how much more impactful and uplifting a certain thing like that is. When I say that I can win, I can succeed, I am successful, I can do this, and your life will change by switching those two topics, but I wanted to get into that and dive into that further. How people talk to themselves and how negative you can be, because if without this masterclass, you'd continue on with your life pretending to be okay pretending everything would be okay but once you become aware of the things that i'm going to share in this video with you once you become aware of the things that are actually going to set you apart from the rest of people and the rest of society because the rest of society talks about i can't and we're going to make you talk about i can today that's my whole goal with this is to teach you about the i can so grab some coffee grab some popcorn throw this video on when you're cleaning throw this video on when you're doing something and just listen to the words that i have to speak because i guarantee you this video will change your life and if it doesn't change your life well I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> You'll never realize how negatively you talk to yourself until you flip the script, until you come to the other side. Once I make you aware of this one thing, you want to leave society, you want to become your own person, stop saying that you can't and start saying that you can. not If you can switch your mindset, even if you feel like you can't do a certain topic to saying that I can do this certain thing, you will win in life, you will win and you will become better than the rest. Because most people are saying that I can't do this, whatever that may be, maybe it's a test, maybe it's work, or you know one we hear way too often that really frustrates me? I can't get rich. I can't retire. I won't have money. All these things are people are things that people say on the daily basis, on the regular. And this is one thing that really frustrates me. And you're never aware of how much you say certain things like this until you're challenged with the idea that the only reason you say that is because you're living in the physical. You're living in the things that you can actually see and you can actually perceive. May I submit to you today and things that we're going to talk about is that you need to be able to speak things into fruition. You need to be able to speak things from existence, from the divine, from the God being, and not saying that I can't, instead saying that I can. And you'll never realize how much you do this until you actually start speaking from that way and that perspective. Go about in your day-to-day -day life. One thing I want to tell you guys to do is go out and do a little test. Count the number of times times People say they can't. This is what I want you guys to do tomorrow, okay? Count the number of times people say that they can't. In a day-to-day -day basis, you can do this over a 12-hour period, you can do this over a 48-hour period, however long you want to conduct this product or this test. What I suggest you do is go out there and just listen to how many times people say they can't. Right? Whether that, that's that they can't, I can't get rich, I can't retire, I won't have money. And I'm putting I won't in this category too, but you get the gist of this. I can't do this certain car, I can't do this certain task, I can't do this certain, this certain test, whatever it is. And you'll quickly realize how negative people talk about themselves. You realize that the highest God power, and this is what Neville Goddard said, is the I am. 
People don't realize how impactful saying I am successful, I am rich, I am stupid, I am smart is. Because whatever you say that I am is the I am. Certain people are gonna get that. Let me put it this way. If I was to say to you right now that I am successful, would you believe that I'm successful? Well, most of the time you'd be willing to bet on the case that if I'm confident enough to say that I'm successful, that I'm going to be successful of sorts. But maybe I'm not successful. Maybe I don't have success right now, but it's that confidence that you speak with in saying a certain thing, the saying that I am successful, even though you're not, that is actually gonna make you start to believe that you are successful. And how do you get over this? How do you go from saying that I can't to I can, like it is up here? How can we switch the mindset? How do I go from I can't to I can? It all comes from being in your higher state of consciousness, consciousness being the higher you being the empowered you, being the you that you want, speaking from a place of in the future, speaking from a place of knowing that it's going to come to you and it's going to take some time, but it will come to you. That sentence didn't make sense, but speaking up of a place from faith. Faith is dead without works. Faith is what runs this whole piece. You want how to talk to yourself? Well, you need to have this one thing right here, and that is faith. If you don't have faith that you can be successful, if you don't have faith that you can be rich, if you don't have faith that you can be a good-looking, attractive young male, then how would you ever be able to say that you can't? Most people live without this. Most people live in their perpetual state of being without faith, without realizing that they can become something in the future. Because us as humans, we base things off of what we have now, right? If I was to tell you I was a millionaire, or if I was to tell you that I'd give you a million dollars, you'd want to know physical evidence that states that I have a million dollars or I'm going to give you a million dollars. We base off everything off of what we have now. And if you don't have the faith to say that I will have something in the future, you will never have that certain thing. If you can operate in a state of higher consciousness, within, which includes this state of faith, which I know you have in you, you just might not have activated, or maybe you have activated, you just don't know how to go about activating it and making sure it comes to fruition, then you won't ever see these things happen. This is a good drink, by the way. I really should be drinking water, but... The fruit juice helps quench my mouth because I am speaking a lot. But we'll go for a glass of water. Okay, so how do we operate from faith? It's knowing that eventually, regardless of the circumstance, regardless of what's happening in my life, regardless of where I'm at, I will have this come to me. And that's something you're going to have to cultivate over time. You know, there was a time and period in my life where I did not believe that I could have a YouTube channel, speak fluently to the camera, speak confidently enough to the camera, and be able to talk to thousands and millions of people. I didn't think that was possible, but I learned through faith. I learned through stepping up into my higher being and stepping up into my true creative power that I can. I can actually do this certain type of thing. One thing that limits us, and this sucks because this is almost the luck of the draw, and I'm going to erase a tiny bit of this. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to erase a lot of this. And I'm going to put faith in the middle because I think faith is incredibly important. But one thing that sucks, and I really do want to change your mindset on this certain thing, is that as kids, if we're not told that we can do something or we can be anything, we will never become that certain thing, right? That's why they talk about speaking to your kid in a positive way. Pause it, T I V E. Talk or positive way, speaking good things on them. Is there any wonder? Holy crap, speaking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold up. What I was going to say, is there any wonder why these kids succeed? Speaking good things, okay? When we talk to kids in a certain way, think about this for an instance. When you look back on your life, what did your parents tell you? Did your parents tell you that you could or did your parents tell you that you couldn't? Did your parents tell you that you could go to college? Did they tell you you could be anything you want? Did they tell you that you could be the man? Or did they say to you, you can't do this certain thing because we didn't have the opportunity to do this certain thing? And you'll quickly realize how programmed you are. And if you're on the side of I can't, how can we get you to the I can? And it all stems back 
to faith. You have to have the faith that even though my parents have told me this, even though I've been programmed this certain thing, even though I've told myself all my life that I can't, I inevitably can come to the I can, but it's not without faith. It's not without knowing that I am actually stronger than my parents have told me. It's not without knowing that I'm actually stronger and mentally able to do the certain things. How do you reside in faith? It's residing in your higher purpose. Knowing that there's more out there for you. You have to know that whatever you go through, whatever's in life, whatever hand you're dealt, there's more in life to life. There's more in life to you. There's more in life to have. There's more abundance out there to get. Just because you're stuck up here and you want to get down here doesn't mean that in five years you will get down here. Even though it might not happen tomorrow, it might not happen the night later, you will get down here. It's all through faith. You have to have the faith that things will eventually work out. And if we go to the other side of faith, speaking into existence, that's ugly, speaking into existence. Conor McGregor is a very big proponent of this. Conor McGregor said that he would be a UFC champion way before he was a UFC champion. Many people have said that they will become something. That is one of the most impressive things. If you can speak to the world and say that you will become this and you actually become this, speaking from a place of faith, you will win. How can we speak from a place of existence? How can we speak into existence? Well, it's by first knowing that whatever you say is life, just like the Bible said. Whatever you say is life or whatever you say is death. Want the fastest way to kill your dreams? Tell yourself that you can't. Want the fastest way to succeed in life is tell yourself that you can. Is it negative or is it positive, right? If I was to tell you right now that I'd be a, if I was to, <laughs> I keep forgetting there's no cuts. If I was to tell you right now that I have a gold play button behind me sitting right in front of my computer or behind my computer, I don't have that right now. But it's not speaking from a place of ignorance. I'm speaking from a place of faith, knowing that I'm speaking life from the tongue, knowing that eventually it's going to come my way. It's just a matter of time. All I have to do is work because faith is dead without works. And I just have to wait. My time is coming. I know it's going to come. I know it's going to be there. And I'm speaking it into existence now. But we're just speaking from a place of faith. But I could easily turn around and say to myself and program myself and believe to myself that I don't have a play button. Why should I even try? I don't have a play button. I'll never succeed. It's as simple as that. And it's not simple because there is a very big proponent to this that you have to kind of sort of be a little bit delusional to it. You have to not be there. You have to realize that sometimes they're going to say things that don't ever make sense and that's okay. But it's speaking from that delusional state, speaking from that God reality, speaking from that I am reality, knowing very well that you might not be that right now, but you will eventually become that. That's when you'll start to see the rewards. How can we live in that state? How can we be a little bit delusional? And you'll find a recurring theme in my videos, and I'm going to put this up there. How bad do you want it? Because if you want it that bad, you're willing to take in everything I say as gold. And everything I say is gold. This could be a $1,000 masterclass that I'm giving away for free. And I would give this information away for free because it's information I would have wanted for free myself. How bad do you want it? If you want it bad enough, you're willing to speak from a place of faith and you have to be willing to speak from a place of faith, but also a place of delusion. Be a little bit gone to it. Be a little bit away from it. Be a little bit crazy in a sense because you have to be. You have to be gone to it to kind of say that I'm going to be successful one day when you have no sign of success. You have to kind of be a little bit gone to it. But that's what most people are. You got to think about it for a sec. It's always delusional until it works. It's never really delusion. You're just programming yourself in the same way that your parents told you that you can never do it. Or the same way you've been telling yourself that you are ugly for all these years. And that's one thing I wanted to talk about as well is hard work leads oh, okay ignore that leads to positive talk okay i'm gonna just one sec and the reason i bring this up in the whole con context of faith is because what happens is and i fell into this too is that when i was a bit bigger i was always speaking to myself in the terms of i can't i can't lose weight I can't be skinny. I can't have the girls I want. I can't wear the clothes that I want. I was always speaking from a place of I can't. But through hard work and losing all my weight, 
through hard work and changing my mindset, through hard work and gaining 25 to 30 pounds back in muscle, although that's not always the case, there's fat there, but you get where I'm coming from. Through hard work, I can now speak to myself positively. I can now say to myself, I am good looking. I can wear the clothes that I want. I am successful. I have lost all the weight. I am speaking from a place of faith because I've actually had to work through the struggle to get to that place of faith. Hard work is a form of faith. Faith is a form of hard work. What have you done in your life that's hard? Have you done anything? Have you challenged yourself in many ways? Because there's times when I look back in my life where I finished that thousand word or that thousand page book and I was like, I finally did it. Yes, I got through the biggest book, but it's through that hard work and that grind and that dedication that I can speak from a place of that I am smart. I have read a thousand page book. I have done things that other people haven't. And if you can come to the conclusion that hard work is a form of faith that's going to lead to positive talk, that's going to lead to success, you'll start to realize how much of a domino effect this is. You go from having faith to putting in hard work to then from speaking I can't and death to speaking life and then to understanding that when you speak life, you can speak stuff into existence. And when you speak stuff into existence, you go from living in this dimension to this dimension, right? Living in the I can't dimension, I can't to the I can. And I'm telling you, from someone in the I can dimension, everything's sweeter. And you soon quickly realize how negative the I can dimension is, how negative people are out there in the world. You know, I go about, and the whole reason I'm starting this video is because I realized that people don't have this information. People are not taught this in school. And this is incredibly important because if you can't, how are you ever going to succeed if you're taught that you can't? If you're, if everything you know is I can't, I can't retire, I won't be rich, I can't start a business, you're never going to see success. And that's what we're programmed to believe that I can't. You'd be very lucky and I was very fortunate to have parents that said you can be anything you want in life. And here I am teaching in front of a whiteboard to millions and thousands of people. Funny how that works, isn't it? But when you come to this side, you realize how negative the I can't side is. And it's absolutely brutal to talk to people in that I can't state. It's not saying that you can't have a friendship. It's not saying that you can't be cool with them or this, that, or the other thing. It's saying that that side is not something you will never touch again. Because what happens is, is especially when you step into that world of faith, when you step into that being, the I am, that is faith, you then realize that even if you fail, right, which sucks, we don't want to fail, you will still come out. Oh, look at this. Where is it? I got to find it. Uh, it's not on here. I'm so sorry. Uh, successful is where I was going with that. You have the faith to believe that no matter what I'm going through, I will be successful. You have the backing of being, having done all this and failing and coming to that point of failure, you'll realize that even regardless of what I'm going through, I will be successful. And I'm sorry, my watch had fallen off there. But people get to hear in the I can't. And that's what happens is you build the formation of failing, you build the habit of failing. That's what the I can't is. It's fail, 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 fail. But what happens when you fail? What happens when you breathe that mentality over, over and over, over and over again, is that you just say that I can't. I can't do this. I can't do that. I won't succeed. I will never win. All because you had a little setback. You had a little failure. You had something go wrong in your life and you think life is over. But what happens is, is when you think life's over, stuff like that starts to show up a lot more. Have you ever noticed that? I'm going to tell you one thing. In the next couple of days, you're going to see a red car with black rims. Maybe you never noticed red car with black rims, but I can almost guarantee you within the next three days, you're going to see a red car with black rims. But it goes to show you how impressive the mind is, how much the mind is going to force things into your reality. And when you see that red car with black rims, you're going to realize that, holy crap, wait, wait a second. The mind's that impressive? That means that I've been taught all this stuff. Now I can actually start putting that stuff to use. Or now I'm starting to realize how negative people are. Or now I'm starting to realize that I'm not living in a place of faith. I'm living in a place of fail. I'm living in a place of I can't, not I can. This is all going to start to make sense once you realize how impressible the mind is. Once you realize how much you've been doctored into believing that I can't do this. I won't succeed. 
I won't win because that's your mentality, but it can change at the drop of a dime. Just like you seeing that red car with uh, black rims, or just like you seeing somebody drinking from a mason jar, you're gonna see that certain thing in life happen and you're gonna realize that holy crap, this guy was right and I, I know I need to step into that faith purpose. I know I need to step into that speaking life from the tongue, not speaking death from the tongue because speaking death from the tongue is only gonna lead to death. Have you ever seen a dead thing become alive? Well, maybe you have. Maybe feces has been used to make a plant alive, but that's not the same thing. Dead cannot come to alive unless you're Jesus Christ. And chances are you're not Jesus Christ, but I'm starting to get off topic and I don't like the way that I'm sounding. Just know, step into your purpose. And this is your purpose right here. If you take away anything from this video, you need to understand that faith runs everything. Faith is gonna let you speak stuff into existence. Faith is gonna let you become the person that you wanna be. Because I have faith that this is work, working. I have faith that whoever's watching this video and is this far in is understanding that faith is what needs to happen. I have faith that this is gonna reach thousands and millions of people. I just know it's gonna work, but it's because I'm, step, I'm, I'm talking from that place of speaking into existence, right? I'm talking from that place of life. I'm not speaking death. I'm not saying to myself that this video is never gonna work because I know the video is going to work. But it's just that little change you can make in your life that's going to completely alter your reality and make you become the person that you want to be. Do you really think the highly successful people, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, the people that come to mind, are really saying to themselves that they can't? They're saying to themselves that they can. And even when they started, maybe they weren't saying to themselves that they could right away over time and with the hard work and with the faith to know that it would work They built a habit to suck seed. Faith, it would work, a habit to suck seed. My friends, this has been a lesson with Zachary. I hope you gained some information on faith and how to step into your purpose and how to speak life and death from the tongue. Everybody, God bless.